Good afternoon. For those of you who may not know me, I am Ingrid P. Lewis Martin, the Chief Advisor to our Mayor Eric Adams, and today is a great day in the city of New York. New York has an illustrious history of firsts. We celebrate so many firsts. And today, we get to celebrate a trailblazer who has been forgotten from the annals of history. But today, under the leadership of our mayor and the World's Boxing Commission, we have counsel. We have the privilege of introducing to many of you who may be unfamiliar with the world of boxing, a gentleman who was named Lewis Falls. He was the first man of African descent who came from Senegal and he immigrated to America and he resided in New York City to become the world's boxing champion, heavyweight. So he's forgotten in history, but we did not forget about him. Today, a few days ago, would have marked his 100th anniversary. And so it's a pleasure for Mayor Adams, the Honorable Champ. I know during the campaign we used to say the champ is here, but the champ is really here. The champ is here. Roy Jones Jr., a world champion in four different divisions, the president of the World Boxing Council, who cares? That's the foundational arm, Miss Jill Diamond. And later on, we will have a special guest who's running a little bit late to celebrate our dearly departed brother, who was the first, who made yet again history. And we have some babies with us from the Eagle Academy. Yes, and their instructor. So we're happy to have you join with us. So without any further ado, I'm going to say the names of all of the speakers in the order in which they will speak. And I'm going to remove myself. So our first speaker will be the world champion, Roy Jones Jr. Then we will have our president, Jill Diamond, and hopefully our special guest will be here, and then I will come back to do the honors of properly introducing our mayor. Thank you. Thank you. I just wanna say thank you to everybody that's involved, the mayor, his assistant, everybody that had anything to do with this thing. Um, it is so beautiful to honor someone who meant so much to the sport of boxing that we didn't know about. And he really meant so much to the world. He was a trailblazer. And what's so prom prominent to me is the fact that first, Jose Suleiman, Marisa Suleiman, the president of the WBC, asked me to come here to represent the WBC. That was the first and foremost honorable thing of all. But to come and represent a guy that was a trailblazer at my weight class, because the only division that I was undisputed champ was light heavyweight, which was what better than Seeker did. So for him to go through so many things and still to accomplish what he wanted to accomplish, that was in a time that people didn't have the right to do the things that he did. When God says it's for you, no matter what they say, nobody can stop you from getting it. He got it way back then in 19, in 18, what, 1922. So that's been September 24, 22, 100 years. You understand? So to be the first to blaze a trail like that means more to me than anything because it had been 106 years since somebody had won the middleweight, light heavyweight, and heavyweight title. And our goal is to go out and blaze trails. These are the kind of people that set those examples for us. Without people like him, without battling, with battling seeker, without him doing what he did, it wouldn't inspire us to go out and do better or do more than what we do. So he's a perfect example of a person in a time when it should not have happened did way more than he should have been allowed to do. And that is a trailblazer for real. So thank God for him. I want to thank New York, thank everybody involved in honoring this guy. And I look forward to seeing more of these type of activities down the line. Thank you, God bless y'all. And so good to see you little guys here. I hope you go back and do your history on this man because this man is something special to the world, period. Not just the world of sports, but the world, period. Because one day, you guys are going to be looked, forward to, looked upon to blaze a trail or something. You understand me? It's y'all's job now. God bless y'all. Thank you. It's a privilege to be here and to read this letter from WBC President Mauricio Suleiman. It is with great joy that the World Boxing Council, representing 175 countries, celebrates the life of Battling Siki, the first athlete born in Africa to win the world championship in any sport. 
Our sincere gratitude goes to Mayor Eric Adams for stepping into the ring and recognizing the historic moment which happened 100 years ago. And we thank his chief advisor, Ingrid Lewis Martin, who worked passionately to make sure this historic moment took place right here in New York City. Lewis Fall, battling Siki, conquered glory by defeating legendary Georges Carpentier in France, winning inside the ring, but sadly and regrettably losing his life outside of it. He settled in New York, a place he called home. Those times of extreme racism and discrimination must not be forgotten, but must inspire us to continue building bridges of faith and love to make this a better world. A dedicated and talented boxer, a war hero, a person of humor and intelligence, a role model for all and generations to come. This legend must not be forgotten. We thank you all for being here to pay tribute to a champion who rose from the slums, who raged against discrimination, and despite all odds, became the king of the ring. Mauricio Suleiman, WBC president. Thank you. So timing is always important. And our special guest has arrived most timely. We have the Council General of Senegal, El Haji Endau, who will now say a few words. Please. Thank you. Apologies again for uh, being a bit late, New York traffic, you know. <laughs> but thank you very much. We are honored again to be here uh, alongside the great mayor of New York, our good friend, a good friend of Africa, Mr. Eric Adams. Uh, it's an honor again to be here to celebrate bravery, I would say. Um, Barik Fall, a.k.a. Battling Siki, uh, epitome, 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 well, he represented bravery. The reason why I say that is that someone who, as a teenager in the 19th century, who in the early 1900s was able to travel to Europe, to a new setting, to a setting that is not his natural setting, to leave Africa at a time when, you know, he was made to believe that his dignity is not that of a human being. For him to thrive and uh, get to a point where he believed in his human capabilities and, and abilities, to get to a point where he got to the top of the world of boxing, I think that needs to be heralded and celebrated. So the fact that the, uh, the mayor's office recognized that and uh, the mayor himself being here to honor the uh, memory and the achievement of late battling Siki is something that on behalf of the government of Senegal, the president of Senegal, and of, uh, on behalf of the people of Senegal, we are grateful. I would like to uh, say that battling Siki, but, uh, you know, uh, growing up, and I was speaking to my sister, Isata Kamara, from your office the other day because uh, she said she spent some time in Senegal as a kid. You know, growing up, there was a, a, a box of matches, and we all grew up, you know, seeing that. The, the brand of the, uh, of the box of the, uh, the box of matches was the boxer. And then it was the uh, picture of battling Siki on top of it. We never knew who was battling Siki because, of course, you know, we were later generations. But, you know, when I told her, uh, it was actually battling Siki, on, and then we all went, ah, okay, now we know. So he um, is very well cherished in Senegal and in Africa, and we are honored again to witness here in New York that his bravery and his achievements are recognized. Thank you. Thank you so much. And, you know, when I, I did my DNA, you know, I'm part from Senegal, so I'm, uh, I'm honoring a fighter 
and that spirit and energy, it doesn't matter if you the top of the royal as the royal champ or the top of the royal as the mayor of the city of New York, uh, you will overcome obstacles and hurdles. And I think that's why it's so important to have these scholars from the Eagle Academy representative of the symbol of soaring to higher heights. And uh, Badalin Siki, uh, known as, as affection, affectionately known as Lewis Fall, uh, the first uh, African to win a championship. You know, look at the time. You have to think about the time. He was born in 1897, a different, not only a different Africa, but a different globe. As a young child in the Second World War, the First World War, uh, he joined the French Army, uh, receiving two awards for bravery. He was an indicator of who he was going to become. At 15, he took up boxing, and it just really uh, points out how important sports is, as we uh, know that, and we want to continue to embrace that. Uh, from 1919 to 1922, he won uh, 43 bouts out of 46. He was almost as good as Roy Jones, not as not as good, but uh, close, <laughs> you know. Uh, but you know, 43 out of 46. Um, he refused to uh, throw a fight. One time, he was asked to throw a fight, but he stood up. Not only did he stand up to fight in the ring, but he stood up to fight outside the rings. In front of 40,000 spectators in Paris, uh, the Battle of Siki became the new world champion. And he took that fight in spirit and lifestyle, extremely flamboyant lifestyle. He enjoyed partying or, or walking his pet lion around Paris. And, but he uh, was a person that was larger than life. Uh, that was the symbol that he showed. Uh, but he also always stood up and fought with what was right. Overcoming racism and hardship was at the, uh, uh, heart, at the heart of his short life. And not during the match, he exposed the corruption in French boxing, uh, but he also exposed racism that existed. And it's unfortunate, uh, like to so many young people, he too lost his life at a young age, uh, dying at the age of 28. Uh, his legacy lives on, and it's an inspiring future for so many. And it's imperative that when we think about boxing and those like uh, Champ Roy Jones, uh, Muhammad Ali, uh, Mike Tyson, they all look towards him as a symbol of what being in a ring is about and going against uh, the odds in so many levels. Those odds were multiplied by a thousandfold, looking at the time that he was around. As I stated, a different globe, a different country and a different place, but he arose uh, out of all of that. And so today, uh, we want to give uh, Louis Balanciki Fall Day here in New York on behalf of all New Yorkers, 8.8 .8 million New Yorkers. Whereas since his shocking, tragic, and untimely passing in 1925 at the age of 28, Fall's legacy continues to live on. Throughout his career, Fall fought to overcome adversity and racism and was known for his humor, intelligence, and natural talent as a boxer. Today, I am immensely proud to honor the life and many achievements of Louis Fall and join in commemorating the 100th anniversary of his World Championship victory. I applaud the Royal Boxing Council for its efforts to celebrate and carry on Battling Siki's inspiring legacy. I, Eric Adams, Mayor of the City of New York, congratulations and thank you so much for bringing this history to life. Thank you. Let's stand up here. Thank you.